Angelina. She was really evil from the very start. With black eyes, like a demon, a witch. I think your subconscious is processing your relationship with her. No, that's not my subconscious. I'm remembering this encounter. Her face. What kind of mirror was that? And where was it? The crevice, remember? I climbed in there to help Angelina. There was a, a large room down there, and, and this mirror was in it. Perhaps it was a cave with an underground river, and the reflection in it was simply distorted. No, oh, I'm sorry, Doc. A few days ago, I would have believed you. But this time, I'm completely sure it's not just my imagination or, or some kind of trick by my subconscious. It really did happen. Excuse me for a moment. Dr. Winterbottom? Yes, he's still here. Where did... Can we... Yes, fine. I'll tell him. Hello, this is Big Shot Spooner. We found a corpse and want to arrest that Gordon immediately. Send him here straight away. Almost. <laughs> it was the constable. The inspector is waiting for you in the cafe. You should go there directly after the session. In the cafe? What, is he gonna treat me to a plate of donuts? Why not? Adrian, it's time to make peace with the world. Why don't you start with the inspector? It's okay, Doc. Perhaps it's all a bit too much. The ongoing investigations against me, the continuous suspicion, the visions, the castle... It's crushing me. Because you want to do everything on your own. Let yourself be helped. By me, by the inspector, and why not by a butler? Yes, I think a butler would be just the thing for you. You made the right decision. Has anyone ever told you that? What decision? That a castle needs a butler? No, that you didn't become a pathologist back then, rather than a psychologist. I mean that decision, Doc. Oh, thanks, Adrian. See you later, Doc. <laughs> See you later, Adrian. Nobody's answering. Hello, Madam Fortuna. Adrian, I knew you would call again. Who else could it be? Pick a card. Uh, stop. I've turned over the moon. That's what you sound like, too. The, oh, the tarot card, Adrian. Your card. Something has been awakened in you. You will have to transcend the boundaries. But you will receive a deep, intuitive understanding in exchange. That sounds a bit scary. And I see death. Again. You shatter. Ah. But there's a way, Adrian, for you to survive. Just one. Yes, I'm listening. Stay away from heights. Uh, yeah. Thanks. What a load of crap. No 
matter how big my problems are, if I walk through this door, they'll multiply drastically. Can I ask you something briefly? Hmm? I found a bear trap in the woods. Are those kind of traps even allowed? I know there are hunters out and about all year round, but I'm sure they don't use bear traps. There aren't any bears in England. What are the traps for then? And who set them? Maybe the bears have laid some to catch the hunters. You've got a logical explanation for everything, haven't you? The most important thing for you is that you don't have to waste any time having a proper look at things. Hmm. That's what it looks like. Goodbye, Constable. Hmm. Not going back there voluntarily. The sales girl was terrified of me. As long as I don't ask her any questions, then I probably won't give her a heart attack. Hi, Adrian. Hi, Edward. Ah, Mr. Gordon. My condolences once again. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Of course, sir. Have you ever been in the local museum? I'm very interested in museums of all kinds, especially ethnology and history, sir. But this thing here in Willow Creek really can't be described as a museum. It's much more of an um, omnium gatherum of unworthiness. You've been in it? Yes, a couple of years ago, when there were a few real exhibition pieces in it. Take care, Edward. I'll do my best, sir. Ah, uh, the worthy Mr. Gordon is honoring me with a visit. Have you taken something? Sit down. Do you remember what happened last night? Only up to the punch in the face. Strangely enough, I have a mental block of what happened from that point on. Really? You stood up as if nothing had happened and just walked back to the castle? I followed you because I thought you might collapse at any moment. But nothing. You didn't even sway once. You took the knockout punch like a man. I wouldn't have expected that of you. Thanks for the flowers, Inspector. But in reality, I didn't cope with it so well. The black Never mind. The most important thing is you can still remember what Tom said when he noticed you. You mean, I'll kill you? I'll punch you in the face? By the way, you can report him if you want to. Sure, and for kidnapping too. No one believes me anyway. I already said three weeks ago that he kept me locked up in Wales. Until now, I assume that these abduction stories were made up but Tom's reaction makes me wonder a bit. But more importantly, who is this Phil who Tom said you murdered? Ask Tom. I haven't been able to find him all morning. Oh, and now you want my help. Okay, Adrian. Perhaps I wasn't always that nice to you. Can we just forget the past for a moment? Did I just hear an apology? Well... Phil's the guy who locked me up in his morgue a few days ago and, and wanted to kill me. I knocked him out from behind and took off, uh, but I know he was still alive at that point. That means the corpse is still lying there. Where was this? In a house in the woods. Uh, I think it used to belong to a Dr. Heinz Herman. That sounds familiar. Listen, Inspector, how about I just take you over there? After you.
Here we are. The door's closed. And we can't go in there without a search warrant. I think that only applies to you, right? Let me put it like this. If you were to enter this house without permission, I would have to make sure that you don't take anything. Ah, I get it. Hey, Inspector. The door is wide open. Well, who would have guessed? His lordship has a key. I'll have to take that as evidence. Sorry. You'll probably be interested in the torture videos, too. Torture videos? Yeah, Phil's got a whole secret compartment full. They're gone. Perhaps your corpse was bored. Wait a minute, there must be one still in the video recorder. Turn that off. That's sick. Where's the guy who filmed this? I guess it was Phil, but, uh, but you don't see him, though. I'll take that tape as evidence. Okay, and where's the corpse? The corpse has disappeared too? This is starting to get quite implausible, don't you think? Uh, Tom must have been here. He, he tried to cover his tracks. That's why the other videos are gone, too. Tom? Or you? I've got nothing to do with it. I I'll prove it. Hey, Inspector. You might be interested in this. But perhaps you'll believe me now? It must be dead at least a couple of weeks. And a couple of weeks ago, I was sitting quietly in the cell. Okay. Phil really does have something to answer for. And it would seem he's good at his profession. Otherwise, I'd have heard of him ages ago. I bet Tom's got something to do with this, too. First, we'll go back to the station. I'll send Zach over here to pick up the body. I've got something else I need to do. You're coming with me first. I need to record your statement. Stay where you are! Tom! So now I've got time to have a look at the stone circle then. It'll stay locked for now. That looks very promising. Steps? I wasn't expecting such luxury. I wonder what's waiting for me down there. Amazing. Yep, that's got it.
tree roots, so I must be directly under the surface of the ground. I wonder if this cave was formed naturally, or if someone or something gave a helping hand. Unfortunately, this camera doesn't have a zoom. About four meters wide and... Oh, it's not that deep at all. A few hundred meters, maybe. There are fluorescent uh, things hanging everywhere. They look like huge glow worms. They're not moving. I'm a physics student, not an archaeologist. Are those some kind of writing symbols on the wall? None of it means anything to me, I'm afraid. Some kind of a uh, thing. Difficult to know exactly what it is from here. If I'm not mistaken, that's exactly the same kind of portal as there is in the academy. Uh was before it was filled in. They're not going to help me. Empty letterbox. The ladder would make a decent bridge over the pit. I'll try it. here then? An ancient comic? It looks like a kind of picture-based script. Let's see if I can work any of it out. Some guy carrying a black ball. He's wearing a long robe. Or a dress. Could be some holy character. Or a priest. Then he lies down with the black ball and some other guys wearing dresses stand around him. Weird. And here they're... Taking the guy with the ball's head off? Wait, could it be some kind of burial ritual? Or an execution? I'll take a quick photo. Maybe I'll find someone who knows about hieroglyphics. one of these before, in the academy. Angelina placed a black ball in it, and then the portal opened. I think she'd stolen it from the museum, but now she's dead, and she had the ball with her when my mother threw her to her death. active portal, just like the one in the academy. Angelina was able to open it using a weird black ball thing.
I'm a physics student. Hello, Father. Adrian, welcome to my church. Does this mean anything to you? They're pagan symbols. I don't know anything about that. Tell me, Father Frederick, um, do you know anything about a black ball, like a pearl? There was one exhibited in the museum a few weeks ago, but it was stolen. I'm not surprised that museum should be closed down. It exhibits evil and attracts people with it. It should never have been allowed to open. And the ball? Um, do you know anything about it? If it's been exhibited there, no. Thanks for the help. May the Lord be with you. His colleagues are guarding Buckingham Palace, only with more fur on their hats. Here we can see a typical Willow Creek tourist couple, probably on a romantic honeymoon. Excuse me, may I ask you something? Gozlady, Svetlanushka, look. They even got the Darren Michaels look-alike. Uh... Fantastic! He looks so much like the real thing! What do you want to ask, you Nosha? I hope you're not gonna miss the black ball. Unfortunately, it was stolen a few weeks ago. Niet, we saw last time here. We are here just for corpses. It's done very well. Watching Grasivil. Thank you. I'll pass the compliment on. Would you mind taking part in a little survey? Uh, we're planning a new exhibition about the ancient dark powers that have been doing evil in Willow Creek for thousands of years. Otlichno! The lettering should of course suit it. What do you think about these kind of hieroglyphs? What the Kaya Chunya? It looks like children's book from Egypt. No horror. Boring. More death, duh. I'm sure we can manage that. Thank you. Um, enjoy our museum. <laughs> we do that. Spasiva. There was a mysterious black ball in this cabinet until Angelina stole it in order to open a portal to Mordred.
Edward. Sir? All on your own today? <sighs> Denise is ill. But wasn't she here this morning? Yes. She went down with a virus all of a sudden. Might that be the, uh, Conrad Spooner virus? I think it's got plenty of names. Whatever the case, it doesn't just make you unfit for work. It makes you unfit for marriage, too. I'm very sorry, Edward. Well, anyway, it's not infectious. The last time you were in the museum, did you ever look at that black ball? Yes. Apparently, it was the only thing of any value in there. That's why it got stolen. However, I still ask myself to this day what it was supposed to be exactly. It was too dark for a kind of crystal ball like fortune tellers use. What's your opinion? Well, it certainly wasn't a bowling ball. You're interested in ancient history. Quite true, sir. You could say it's a hobby of mine. I've been collecting ancient coins from different cultures for years now. You build up quite a substantial knowledge doing that, you know. Fantastic. Could you take a look at this and tell me what you make of it? Oh, yes. I've seen this script before somewhere. It's uh, druidic. Very old. Can you read it? Hmm. Reading might be an exaggeration. It's more a kind of pictorial story. I think it's a description of a burial ritual. Yes, that could well be the case. Here, the dead person seems to be some kind of ecclesiastical person. A priest, if you will. You can see that by the crooked star. That symbol was often used for spiritual leaders. And he has a black ball in his hands. Are you saying that it could be like one of those that was in the museum? Oh, you could even be right there. If that's the case, then I'm not at all surprised it was stolen. It would be worth a fortune. Might it be possible that there are more of them? I wouldn't exclude that possibility. If it's some kind of a burial gift for priests, then there could be a chance you'd find one under a burial mound. You mentioned a burial mound. Is there one around here? Oh, yes, sir. There are supposed to be one or two around here. At least they discovered some a few years ago. It was even in the paper. Ah, now, I remember where I recognized the hieroglyphics from. There was a photograph of the tomb in the paper, along with the research team. These kinds of hieroglyphics were engraved in the rocks. A research team? Damn. I bet they cleared out the tomb completely. You would think so. But you could... I could what? Excuse my tactlessness, sir. Miss Valley, she was involved with the excavation. A group of archaeology students were here in this area looking for pagan relics, and they discovered a burial mound quite by chance. It was quite an exciting event. And um, who else was involved in this enterprise? Nobody I knew, I regret to say, sir. Thanks anyway, Edward. You've helped me a lot. Sir, would you happen to have a moment's time? Yeah? It's rather unpleasant for me to mention this so um, brashly, but Dr. Winterbottom said I ought to do it. Um, uh, now, as Master of Black Mirror Castle, would you happen to have any staff requirements? I would be most pleased to be able to work for you, sir. Huh? Uh, what's gonna happen to the cafe if you're no longer here? Oh, don't worry about that. Denise's father already has a new business idea, and I... Um, don't believe I'm the right sort of chap for it. Is that so? Isn't the cafe doing so well? What could do better here in Willow Creek, then? An undertaking business. Funerals, sir. Huh. <laughs> of course. I should have thought of that myself. But I really don't know if I can actually use a butler. I need construction guys or a demolition company more urgently. It is precisely a butler's job to look after such things. Maybe you're right. Well then, why not come up to the castle tomorrow sometime? Then we can give it some more thought. Thank you very much, sir. Take care, Edward. I'll do my best, sir.
Inspector Spooner. Little Lord Adrian. What can the village Bobby do for you? Are you trying to suck up to me or are you pulling my leg? You choose. Have you arrested Tom? He vanished into the woods. We've started a search. This black ball that was stolen from the museum. You want to give it back? That'd be very nice, of course. So it hasn't turned up again? No. Have you seen anything like this before? Something similar. And the cells on the wall. There are supposed to be burial mounds in this area. Do you happen to know where any of them are? You've just inherited a castle. Now you want to move again? Couldn't you give me just one decent answer, please? Ah, well. If it means so much to you. No, I don't know where you might find a burial mound. By the way, uh, the necklace that Tom got so wound up about, did you ever consider that it might be stolen from an old people's home, for example? From an old people's home? In Ipswich? Just an idea. Might you possibly be able to, to give me a tiny bit of information? Really? I can't wait. You searched Miss Valley's house, didn't you? Did you come across any kind of archaeological notes or, or drawings while you were at it? Zack? Hmm? Shouldn't you been off on the beat long ago? You know, Adrian, I get the feeling that our, let's call it a relationship, has got rather bogged down of late. You're constantly coming to me with some new request. It's always me who's supposed to give you something. I'm thinking it's time we changed all that. Would you like to come with me to see Doc Winterbottom? Do some couple therapy? Nice idea, but I've got something else planned. As you perhaps already noticed, I sometimes tend towards making quite hasty judgments. That's one of the reasons they redeployed me here to Willow Creek. I'd actually imagine my life as a police inspector somewhat differently. Pursuits, shootouts, explosions. <laughs> You're looking into my very soul. But without some clear evidence of success under my belt, I'm not going to be getting out of this dump all that quickly. And what with your circumstances having sadly changed somewhat? What's supposed to have changed there? I'm innocent now, just like I always was. But now you're nobility as you have so strikingly noticed. And here in good old England, that is a good reason to treat things with more of a feather-like touch. Or to put it another way, an error in such a case would definitely not be good for my career. H have I got this right? You're crapping yourself because I own a castle now. Perhaps it's still not too late to forget the whole thing and close the case. But to do that, I have to present the judge with something meaningful. Is that a polite request for a confession? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, no, you misunderstood me. The thing with Tom and that Phil is already a good start. Also, Murray has corrected his statement and given you an alibi for the Miss Valley murder. Seems to like you a lot, that bloke. But there's still this Lewis and Angelina woman. They're officially missing. But someone who's missing also can be a perpetrator. You do see that. Ah, <sighs> we're speaking the same language at last. What's happening with Miss Valley's house now? Um, have you found anything there? We only found some photos of you, and we also took a few other things relevant to the case. If you think you can find something there that might bring this case to a close, then I'll let you have a look around the house. Are we partners, then? Not the expression I'd use. Hey, but this conversation never took place, okay? Zack will go with you, and I want to be informed about everything. Of course, Inspector. Goodbye. Fare thee well, my lord. Can I ask you something briefly? Hmm? The inspector said that it, it wouldn't be a problem if I wanted to have a look at Miss Valley's house for myself, but that you should come along to keep an eye on me. 
if that's what he said, I'll go and get the keys. Mm. Have fun with the search. Just tell me when you want to go. Seems Miss Valley wasn't just scared of the Gordons. Old newspapers and a book with English children's songs. That's no use to me. Miss Valley's brother, Vic. She has quite a lot of pictures of him, but that's no surprise. She was pretty obsessed with his death, and particularly with his murderer, Samuel Gordon, my father. A wooden rocking chair. The backrest doesn't look particularly comfortable. She must have really loved her brother. Crockery with folkloric designs. Experts like me call them painted plates. Anything against me taking a piece of coal? I don't think anybody would have anything against that. I think they just don't have oil or gas in Willow Creek yet. An empty notepad. What are you doing there? I just wanted to take a piece of paper to take some uh, notes. Hmm. Newspaper clippings about Vic's murder. I can't imagine how anyone could murder a child so brutally. Now this could be interesting. Miss Valley's book collection. Let's take a look. English history and stories, Camelot and the Holy Grail, huh. from William the Conqueror to Magna Carta. Aha, a folder from a university. Constable, can I take a look at this folder here? That's just books about science and the like. Was that a yes? Okay by me, but don't take too long. No black ball. Hmm. If I'm lucky, then nobody else will have found it either. Now all I have to do is find out exactly where this burial mound is. a few significant words in these research papers from which I can work out the exact location. I think three words will do it. What are you up to? Maybe there's a secret trap door under the rug. What a load of nonsense. Stay down here, please. What? Why? Maybe there's something worth looking at up there. Hmm. Miss Valley kept all of her papers down here. We've searched through everything upstairs and found nothing except a couple of photos of her brother Vic. Ugh. Oh, all right. Hmm. It's a blank piece of paper at first sight but I can make out a weak imprint. Unfortunately, I can only make it out and not read it. This trick has always worked before. That has to be the same letter as the one I found in the shack. You can still read a bit of it. 
in case we are unable to uh, the evil we fail in our goal and the order never existed already sacrificed that was never my intention if the cursed one then oh, now it's looking very faint can't be allowed to find any trace that might lead to us I get it. This is Miss Valley announcing that the Order should be disbanded should anything go wrong. That explains a lot. I'm not an arsonist. I've definitely overlooked something. And I'm thinking I'm not going to get back in here all that easily. got something I can work with. Sector I-3 in the marsh. I've been round there already when I was looking for the portals. And there's a place where there are lots of small animal bones. I must be able to find that. Zack, I've seen enough. Let's go. Please, put the folder away again, and then we can go. As I can remember, there wasn't a pile of stones here yesterday. There's something wedged between the stones. A piece of paper. An envelope with my name on it. <laughs> this is starting to get a bit creepy. An envelope. Hope is the guardian's second virtue. It nourishes the wise, but it fools the measured, who mindlessly rest on its promises. The next weird message. I kind of expected it. Whoever's playing this little game with me, 
knew I'd pass by the swamp. Small animal bones. It said in Miss Valley's research papers that she'd sent some of the bones to her institute. That would point to there being a burial mound somewhere here close by. I'll just have a try in this direction. Hmm. Wasn't all that difficult to find. This tree must have been cut down decades ago. Probably when they discovered the tomb. There are even more of these small animal skeletons. Maybe there's an owl roosting here. Or maybe something bigger? There are plenty of twigs and branches here. I'll take some dry ones. That could be a hole. Or a symbol for a black ball. I think I've come to the right place. The same hieroglyphics as on the stone tablet in the cavern. These places are definitely connected. Hmm. A spare mania that was left over from building the tomb? A lighter with Samuel's face on. I've never seen a burial mound from the inside. To be honest, never from the outside either. Let's see what awaits. It smells old here. Very old. Wind's blown half the wood in here. No black balls down there. The walls are made from solid pieces of stone. They must have needed hundreds of people to build this thing here. So, this is where they actually laid the dead. All empty. Nothing to be found. It's not worth it. I'm not gonna find anything like this. Mordred would definitely have known where to look. How come I'm not getting a vision now? Hey, Mordred, where are you when you need it? Just a minute. That's not such a bad idea. If I don't take my pills and then wait here for long enough, I'm bound to have a vision sooner or later. I mean, why not here? Although, it does say on the warning label that it's at least two weeks before the meds stop working. Maybe I can speed that up? Just a matter of how. There are small loose stones all over the place here. The floor is made of stone, covered with a layer of dirt. They sure couldn't have buried the ball. Dry twigs. Perfect for a campfire.
Hello, doctor? Can I ask you a quick question? Hi, Doc. Adrian, what can I do for you? Uh, tell me, Doc, have you had a look at the museum here? To be honest, no. I've never been, and I never will. It's probably better that way. She'd probably hit the roof if she saw the Heinz Herman heads. Then, I guess you don't know anything about the black ball? I'm sorry, no. I think the medication is causing me problems. What do you mean? Are you having negative side effects? Does it make you feel sick? I, um, have the feeling that it's not working like it normally does today. Could it be that I've eaten something that's reducing the effect? Hmm. Have you drunk a lot of valerian tea or St. John's wort tea? These herbs can both impede the effect. No, tea's not really my thing. Uh, perhaps you've taken some antacids for stomach ache or heartburn? It would be better if you didn't. Medicines containing magnesium, in combination with drinks containing caffeine, inhibit the absorption of the active component of Halo Paradox into the blood. I should have told you that, I'm sorry. That means it's not only valerian and St. John's wort I need to avoid, but also stomach medicines and coffee? Not altogether, but one of two cups of coffee a day is not so bad. Just don't overdo it. Your cough is getting worse every day. Bye, Doc. Look after yourself, Adrian. Abaya, have you got something for heartburn? Yes. Yes, of course. I recommend bicarbonate of soda. Does that uh, contain magnesium? No, it's just salt. Have you got anything else? If you need magnesium, you could also take an antacid. You need a prescription for it, but I'll make an exception for you. Uh, okay. I'd like a packet of coffee. What kind? Decaffeinated or extra mild? Don't you have extra strong? Caffeine doesn't really agree with the older customers. And what about this sack of coffee beans here? That's the extra mild one. Should I pack you some? No thanks. Have you got uh, valerian tea or St. John's wort? I'm afraid not. But I can order it for you. It takes about two days. Oh, that's too long. I need it today. Oh, well, I don't know. See you. E yes. Edward? Mr. Gordon, what can I do for you? Can I buy a whole packet of coffee here, too? But of course, sir. What variety would you like? The strongest. My pleasure. That's Colombian coffee, one of my favorite varieties. Thanks. Take care, Edward. I'll do my best, sir. Ah! 
Humulus valerian. That's exactly what I'm after. And the plant's already dried out. Ought to burn well, that stuff. Pot. I'm guessing the guys here have heated up their lunch in it. And I can make myself tea or coffee with it. I'll just pour in a bit of water. chamber. That'll give me a small fire hearth. That makes enough combustible material for a small fire. You can still read a bit of it. In case we are on... I get it. That explains a lot. I ought to fix up a fire first. Father and son by the campfire. How touching. Water ought to boil soon. A dried out valerian. And now today, the Turkish variety. I'll crush the tablets first, so that they dissolve faster. Damn! All that beautiful smoke's going outside. I'm afraid that my soup's not going to be enough on its own. I'm going to complete all my preparations before I drink it. It's a roll of damp-proof sheeting, used in construction. The craftsmen should really cover the floor with it, so they don't make everything filthy. I guess that's no big deal while the place is looking like it is. Heating on from the outside. Cool. I don't keep all the smoke in the burial chamber for sure. Oh, I'm gonna stay. 
stink like a kipper when I get out of here. <coughs> Not exactly the best deodorant for an unjustly alleged arsonist. <gasps> oh, I'm already feeling a bit weird, woozy, I've been wrapped in wool. <coughs> but that's not enough. Something's still missing. What the hell am I getting into here, for Pete's sake? So what? It's not gonna kill me. And if it does, then I'm already in a tomb, aren't I? Ugh. This is working better than I thought. What? I need them urgently. Damn it! Oh, I never thought it'd be so intense. How long was I out for? Well, anyway, I've seen the ball thing. They hid them here in the tomb. Somewhere in a wall. The medic. Halo Paradox. The info on the... For inhalation of cigarette smoke and under interact... Hmm, this mold wasn't here before. Or was it? What can that mean? This figure in my vision has, has done something with the ball here. Well, that was weird. But anyway, I've got what I wanted. Thanks, Mordred. Feels strangely cold. I hope the search was worthwhile and this thing works. open. Good. The way it's looking, I'm gonna be here longer than I planned for. 
Portal's inactive. I have to find some way of making it work again. With that, I'd at least have evidence that Lewis is dead. But then I'd have to answer some uncomfortable questions. So no. The last time I was here, there was a black ball lying in this holder. Somebody must have taken it out. I can only hope that it's still lying around here somewhere. There are bullet holes all around here. Those order people must have been going crazy, shooting all over the place. Why would they have been shooting all around themselves? Might it have had something to do with Angelina's ritual? Or were they doing that to make the academy collapse? Well, whatever. I ought to make sure I get myself out of here in one piece. These nasty devil characters are all over the place. Look like galleon figureheads. That must be Lewis. Or what's left of him, at least. Angelina wouldn't have got all that far without his help. He let himself be used by her. Just like I did. But never mind what kind of a guy he was. I still have to feel just a bit sorry for him. Whoa, they've really been having fun around here. The floor is littered with empty cartridges. Someone's fired off magazine after magazine here. Did the Order members want to make the Academy collapse? Well, they were pretty damn successful with the entrance, at least. That goes a long way down. And there's that weird light again. The columns are standing on bases that are set deep into the ground. No end in sight. Normally, you'd take this route here, but it looks pretty blocked up. These stone flags used to be deadly traps. Once you stepped on one, something would either drop from above or a door would open up. The mechanism's broken now. At least I hope it is. Whoever built the traps certainly didn't go in for half measures. If you got that on your head, you wouldn't have to worry about getting a headache anymore. You used to be able to open these doors using a mechanism. That's been destroyed, though. Keep them shut forever. There's a piece of black material. Oh, that must be a member of the Order, killed by the falling rocks and all that chaos. Unrecognizable from here, though. That ought to do it. Yes, there's the black ball. In a dead person's hand. Uh, and behind that, the other opening. If I only had something like a stick, I could push the ball out on the other side. A 
Let's see if the guy's got anything else on him, apart from bugs. Keep nice and still. Ugh. Something about this corpse feels quite nicely alive. Must be something to do with the circle of life. Hmm. Uh, a note to Lewis from Angelina. A letter to Lewis from Angelina. Lewis, I've taken care of Valley. She's not going to cause us any more trouble. You deal with the people at the castle. Best thing would be to just set the place on fire. Just make sure that the American comes out of it at least half okay. I need him alive. Bring him to the academy as quickly as possible. I'm gonna try to be there with Catherine ahead of you. You'll get your money as soon as I've got what I want. Angelina. Obviously, all I need to do is make sure that Spooner finds this note on Lewis's corpse. And that'll mean I'll be off of the hook at last. But it's impossible for me to let him in here. In doing that, I might just as well sell off my family secret and have Mordred tattooed on my forehead. I'll think of something or other. It's pretty damn grisly for sure, but... I could use Lewis's arm as an extension to get to the black ball. is a bit closer to the other opening now. The black ball is certainly grabbable, but I just can't quite get to it. Let's get out of here. Adrian Gordon, and master of poetry. Let's hope that the portal will send me directly to Mordred's book. It worked! I'm in the ritual chamber. that is and I don't really want to know it certainly can't mean anything good in here the abyss my mother fell into there are 
several holders here. Is it going to be about which one the ball goes into? That would be theoretically, even physically explicable, but I'd rather not try it. Everything's in the book. Zoro Kare, Buza Dire. Much more powerful than I. What have you done? Out of my way, woman. <laughs> <laughs> 